know what I'm saying? I'm new to this. Pop the balloon. You feel me? Pop the balloon or find love. So, yeah, gonna see what it's all about. Reaction video. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are here with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies. Make some noise. Yes. All right, ladies, so we're going to be bringing out some single men one by one. When they come around this corner, if he's your type down to a T, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything you're not feeling, whatever that may be for you, I don't know what it is yet, <laughs> whatever you're not feeling, Go ahead and pop your balloon, and I'll go over to each of you and see why you ended up popping. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. Hello. Welcome in. What's your name? Uh, my name is Victor. Victor, and how old are you? I'm uh, 31. Okay. Yeah. And what do you do? <laughs> you heard of He's like, I'm uh, 31. <laughs> Like he forgot his age or something. He might, he might be nervous though. You feel me? It's crazy. Account executive for a startup company. Okay, nice. And what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to play guitar, um, work out, and uh, make beats with my boy. Okay, okay. Make beats. And now, what are some things you look for in a woman? I'm looking for a future wife. You know, a role model for my daughter. So I guess I'm looking for intelligence. Um, I like that. You know what I'm saying? He said he's looking for a future wife and a role model for his daughter. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely got a daughter, too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I know how that go. I'm liking that, though. Modesty and respect. Okay. And so do you have a daughter? For my future daughter. Fu okay, okay. <laughs> oh, he said future daughter. Oh, okay. <laughs> On everything. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? You good? Say hi to the camera. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Got it. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers. I don't really like loud, ghetto, disrespectful. Okay. Yeah, All right. Breakers, so. Got it. So we have not got any pop balloons. Okay. okay. So what that means is I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you, and okay. you're going to actually be doing the pop in for this first round. So let me oh, give you a pick. Right. There you go. And for this first round, I'm going to have you pop three balloons. Based off of what you're seeing, whoever doesn't really fall too much into your type, whatever it is, gotcha. go ahead and pop those three, and then I'll ask why you ended up popping afterwards. Sounds good. Okay. Okay, two more. One more. Okay, you can stay down there. We'll start over there. All right, your name and age? Shannon, and I'm 27. Okay. And Shannon, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, it seemed like you had some common goals and mine. Same thing for me. So just going to keep it, see what you had to say. I almost popped at daughter. I thought you said daughter. I said, oh. You see what daughter, I had to clarify? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. And so why do Damn. She don't want nobody to have a, have a kid. She 27. Who's wrong with somebody having a kid? That's crazy. Yeah, popping her balloon. Uh, just based off, you know, attraction of all the ladies. I just had to choose three. So, you know, I'm just looking and that's what I chose. So. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Yep. Thank you. And then we did get one more over here. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm 31. Okay. And Derek, why did you have your balloon unpopped? He's attractive. I just wanted to hear more about him. Okay. Got it. And why did we end up picking her? She looks great. Um, it's just, you know, just a lot of selection right here. So just had to choose one, three. So I thought he was going to pop on me because he said modesty. And you know, oh, you look good. I think so. She do look good, but for sure. And then there was on. one more. Your name and age. I'm Keela. I'm 26. Okay. And Keela, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, just to hear him out, give some grace, see what he has to say, and give him this opportunity. Okay. Appreciate that. Give us a different response. Okay. Why'd you pop hers? Um, <laughs> you know, probably more athletic build I'm looking for, so maybe that's why it's part of it. Yeah, I'm not a good one. <laughs> so, you know, she look great, though. You thank you. Good. I appreciate it. But I understand. <laughs> Hell yeah. She a little thick, too. For real. A little thick, man. For sure, for sure. But he got a pop three. You feel me? So it's kind of hard to choose. I feel it, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's head on back. So for this next round, I am going to have you ask the remaining ladies a question just to sure. see, you know, who's more your type. 
Uh, so what is your practice in religion? Like is it astronomy, the universe, Christianity, Muslim? What's your, uh, you know, religion? Okay, let's start here with your name and age. I'm Tiana, I'm 26, and I'm a Christian. Okay, nice. My name is Brittany, I'm 28, and I'm also a Christian, but I'm on a journey right now. Gotcha. Let's go over here, name and age, and answer this question. Angelique, 32, I'm a Christian. Gotcha. Right over here, your name and age, and what is your religion? Shiloh, 27, I believe in God, but I don't really bond with like a specific religion yet. Gotcha. Here, your name and age, and what's your religion? Tyra, 31, I'm Christian. And the name. Damn, Tyra looking good. Man, she look good. For real. Man, he might choose her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But she look good as hell. Her and Tyra. Okay, Tyra. Agent, answer to this question. I am Mercedes. I'm 26. Actually, I'm 27. Sorry. Okay. And I am spiritual, but I don't follow a certain religion. Gotcha. Now, what about for yourself? What's yours? I am a Christian. Okay, okay. So, so you had a lot of questions in this lineup. All right, so. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh, he's already ready. He knows. Okay, go ahead. Pop two. All right. Uh-huh. Right. No. Pop two? Yeah, she knew she was getting popped. <laughs> she knew she was getting popped. So she's like, here, here you go to balloon. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, baby. <laughs> Yeah, pop, pop both of them. I had a feeling them two would get popped, though. I had a feeling it was. All right, let's start down here. So, I know you just said you're a Christian. Yeah. Is that part of the reason you end up popping her? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, you know, I just want to, you know, raise a Christian household. So, I just want to make sure my wife is similar. So Understandable. Yeah. yeah so, no right. religion, so, why did so. you have your balloon unpopped for him? Um, He seems like he's very calm, and that's what I'm definitely looking for. And he's very attractive. Okay. Appreciate Thank that. You. Thank you. And then... At San Joaquin Valley College, it's never too late to continue bad, your education and this start a new and rewarding stuff. career. Training to become a... Then we popped one over here. So why did we end up popping hers? I don't want to convert nobody. You know, if, if you <laughs> you are who you are, you know, I mean, I, it's not that I don't want to convert nobody because I want everybody to follow Jesus. But, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, be unequally yoked. So, yeah. I completely understand that because I was I grew up Muslim and my okay. mother's Christian, so I I know both sides. Oh, yeah. And right now I'm on my journey because I'm reading the Bible, trying to like, and I don't like people to tell me what to do. I want to follow it myself, so I understand gotcha. and I respect it. Well, yeah, I feel that though, pretty much like you know what I'm saying. She, pretty, be honest though, she's a little pretty dark skinned woman though, for sure, a little pretty dark skinned woman. You know what I'm saying? But she don't know her religion. You know what I'm saying? He's a Christian, so I see why he popped two two of them balloons though. Feel me so. Sure. And so why did you have your balloon unpopped? Well, he's definitely my type. My exes look like him, so. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, let's line up everybody. Let's him back here. So. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> All right. So we do have four ladies remaining. Go ahead yes. and ask them another question. Um, so this is more like a hypothetical question. So, you know, say we, you know, we make it work. We're getting married and stuff like that. And we're about to go buy a car. Say I transfer you six grand to go put a down payment on a brand new car, or you can go buy a used car. Which car are you buying and why? Okay. Take time to think about it. Let's start down there, and then we'll come back up this way. <laughs> All right, six grand. What you doing with it? Who's the car for? For you. I'm getting the new car. <laughs> yes. Gotcha. For my family, and if I want to be protected and stable, I need a car that's going to get me from point A to point B with my kids. Gotcha. Absolutely. That makes sense. Okay. Thank you. I like that answer. You know what I'm saying? Like new cars, you know what I'm saying? Compared to a used car, a used car can easily break down quicker than a new car. Don't get me wrong, it's some new car that break down, you know what I'm saying? But it's rare, you feel me? A used car will for sure break down quicker than a new car, for sure, you feel me? So I like that answer for sure, Tyra, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Over here, all right. What are you doing the six grand? Yeah. Okay, we say the car is for us, right? Yes. Okay, honestly, I feel like it depends on what my car is looking like at that time, mm -hmm. right? Like, my car right now is used, and the next car I buy will probably be new just mm -hmm. because of where I am in life. So I think it depends, but nine times out of ten, I'm going to get a fairly new mm -hmm. car. Gotcha. It don't have to be drive out the lot new, but it's mm -hmm. going to be 
fairly new if it's for me, depending on where I'm at. Okay. With the vehicle I'm currently driving. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like it. All right. Let's hear from you, Brittany. I'm probably going to say a new car, mm -hmm. only because I know it probably won't be no issues with it. Mm -hmm. And if I get a used car, I might have to put more money down. That's right. You know, that's spending more money than the six grand. So yeah. it just makes more sense to get a new car. Gotcha, gotcha. She, she right about that for sure. She right. You look pretty too. You look pretty. Huh? Oh, <laughs> my bad. But yeah, Brittany, she beautiful though for sure. Look, see, I like a little dress she got on and shit. She look, she, she solid. Let's hear over here. Okay, so I do want to ask, do we have our own individual cars already? Well, let's just say you don't, just hypothetically. You don't. I, we, don't. I have a car maybe, and right now you don't have a car, and then we're together, and, you know, we got six grand to put either a down payment or buy, you know, a used one. Which car are you choose? Okay, so if I don't have a car, then I'm going to get any car I can get if that's used right. or new. Right, right. So, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. All right. All right. Wait, should we ask him? What would he do? What you doing? What I do? Yes. Well, I mean, depending on the situation, I mean, I like to, honestly, I like to buy my cars used, to be real with you. Like, a working car that's fine and give me point A to point B. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. All right. So, based off of that, which one of these ladies' balloons are you popping? Damn. All he popped right. her? So, Tyra, why did you have your balloon? I'm, I'm shocked. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, let me see what we have to say with this one, though. You feel me? I'm very shocked. He popped. Um, he carried himself well. Very attractive. Um, I'm not the type of person to pop my balloon just based off the looks, essentially. Um, so I like her. She said she don't pop her balloon based off the looks. You feel me? She want to know, like, you know what I'm saying, your heart, see where you where you coming from, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that, though, for sure. She's a beautiful woman, and I could see that she don't care about the look, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like that. I just left it on pop. Okay, got it. So why do we end up popping hers? Um, You know, I just want to be, you know, compatible who I'm with, and, like, I'm, I'm big on, like, financial stability, financial, you know, acuity, so I feel like cars are can be a hindrance to your future. So that's why, mainly, yes. why I bought. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We've got three. So basically, he's saying, like, you know what I'm saying, financially wise, you know what I'm saying? Like, he likes to save money. You know what I'm saying? He would buy a used car to spend more money on a new car, which I which I get him. You know what I'm saying? He wants somebody compatible, you know what I'm saying, that feel right there with him. So in case like they have a little financial issue, she won't be the one that go get a new car when they know they can get other things. You know what I'm saying? Save their money and all that. And I, I, I like, I see what he's talking about. Okay, I like that for sure. You know, everybody different. You feel me? So, hey, ladies, left. Go ahead okay. and ask them another question. Um, damn, I had a good one too. Let me think. Um, what? Okay, how do you? Um, well, what's your longest? relationship with your friend like how long is your longest friendship? friendship yeah okay what's your longest friendship 10 years oh, okay okay that's it you just want to hear it. okay okay he just wants to hear that simple guy okay okay how about this okay <laughs> <laughs> how long was your longest relationship and why why is it you know st you know lasted so long mm -hmm. okay so friendship relationship friendship, friendship yeah. um 10 years um why has it lasted so long we love each other. We've grown up together. We just, we're good friends to each other. Gotcha. They're here right now. Oh, my gosh. What's up, friends? <laughs> All right. Over here, what's your longest friendship and why? What made it last so long? Yeah. Your child needs these three key factors bad, to get into Another an ad. Ivy League or top 25 universe. Um, probably like 13 years we've been friends. It's like ninth grade, ninth, tenth grade. So probably because, um... We love each other, yeah, and we have great memories. We just celebrated our 10-year uh, uh, class reunion this summer, so um, I don't know. We just, we locked in. Gotcha. You know, those are my people. I know they got my back. Yeah. I got their back, so. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the friends, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, your longest friendship and why? My longest friendship is 20 years. We celebrated 20 years last yeah. month. Um, we met in 04. Um, she's the peanut butter to my banana, you know, yeah. like 
on the outside, we are completely different. Right. But our core values are the same. We mm. just, that's my girl. Gotcha. So they gonna die. You want to shout that's her out? my girl. Shout out Jasmine Keon. <laughs> <laughs> that's my girl. I don't know. I, gotcha. I don't know what else to say. That's, that's my sister. That's my sister. That's my Let's head on back. It is time to pop a balloon. Just one balloon? Okay. Just one. Gotcha. Okay, Man. so why did we have our balloon unpopped? He's cool. Different from what I usually like. He's calm, which is pretty nice and well spoken. He dressed nice. Thank He's attractive, you. so. Thank you. You're welcome. So, why did we end up popping hers? Uh, I just, you know, had to pop one. Uh, and the other two girls, I think, you know, definitely more my type, so. Okay. Yeah. Thank All you. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies, any questions for him? Oh, you got both. Well, she's ready. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to clarify ghetto. Ghetto? Oh, yeah, okay. that definition. I need that. <laughs> I mean, just kind of being... <laughs> she said she would have clarified ghetto, you feel me? <laughs> For real. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah, she would have, she would have clarified ghetto, you feel me? Because the main reason why, you feel me, baby? I think she would have clarified ghetto because she might be ghetto, you know what I'm saying, to a certain extent. So she want to know, like, hold on, man, classify for me, you feel me? Because she can't get ghetto or something. You feel me? <laughs> Yeah. I'm like unaware of the situation. Um, like loud. I, I don't really like loud, noisy women. Like I don't like yelling that much. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's necessary for me. Hold on, hold on baby. But, hold on. You know, so I like calm in my life. So I like my woman to be calm as well. So kind of like calm is calm. the opposite of ghetto to me. So okay. You know what I mean? So. So for you, ghetto means like rowdy. Yeah, rowdy. Oh, okay. You know, in okay. your face, like, eh, eh, eh. All that shit, like, I don't do all that. Just leave that Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. I got you. Cool. All right. Where do you live? I'm in Maryland. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Right. You from D.C.? No. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm, I live in Dallas, Texas. Okay. I'm at work considering D.C. So. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Just, all right, cool. Okay. <laughs> Any questions over here? So I have a question. So loud, just raising your voice at all? I mean, just like you know, I you know, I, I try to even in arguments. I, I keep calm. I don't I don't yell. I like to talk about the issue instead okay. of getting emotional about the issue. Which is nothing wrong with getting emotional, but learning how to like control your emotions. I think it's key in the woman that I'm looking for. So um, knowing how to control your emotion, I think that's more what I'm thinking about. Yeah, man, I, I feel him. He more like a chill dude, you know what I'm saying? All that wah wah stuff, like you know what I'm saying? All that getting loud for nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like make your head hurt. I feel him though. You feel me? He more like a calm, chill type of type of dude. You feel me? No need to argue. Well, you, okay, you gonna argue have disagreements, but like don't get too loud or rowdy. With let's talk about like let's talk about it. You feel me? So yeah, I, I dig it. I dig it for sure. You feel me? For real, for real. I say not ghetto is emotional control. So. Okay, because I'm actually working on controlling my emotions. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, you seem calm now. Seem I'm calm, calm now, but it's like, it depends on the situation mm -hmm. where I might, you know. I'm not saying, yeah. I don't know, really not. <laughs> not really okay. Not, yeah. All right. Perfect. Well, it is time to make a choice. These the ladies are attractive, I know. Though. We got two beautiful. Uh, you know what I'm saying? These ladies are very attractive, like for real, for real. It's kind of hard to choose. Like, they got some pretty ladies up here for sure. Left. So, it is time to pop one of their balloons. Okay. Gotcha. Oh. Okay, oh, let's damn. head on over here. Wait, we she popped her balloon. Damn. I, I want to see why, though. Up in? I just... I'm not, I'm not loud and rowdy, but... I just feel like I might be a lot. I know I feel chill right yeah. now, <laughs> but like I feel like I might be a lot, and I don't know, right? I, I really don't know. But in the event that I am, I pop just because she was brave enough to say that she's working on it. Now I'm not working on it, but because I mean I know me, I'm I'm where I am. But I just feel like I might be a, a lot gotcha. in a different setting, yeah. and I don't I don't want to feel like that, especially. Well, my career, my life period. I just. What's your career? I'm a flight attendant. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. Part of me feels like I might regret that. But, you know, no regrets. No regrets. Okay, okay. Let's head on back. Oh, hey. Let me have you scoot that way. Let me bring her up here. Just so we can see if we have any final questions between the two of you. Good. 
Um, I do want to ask. So I did say I'm working on it. Is that an issue for you? Hey, why don't you working on it? We, you know, so okay. everybody's a work in progress. So, you know, okay. day, day. Where you Where you stay? I live in Houston. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Where do you live? Maryland. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, just say that. <laughs> I work remote, so I mean. I can, I can so that's travel. not an issue for you, me being in Houston. I can travel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then, with that being said, is it a yes for you for him? Yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for her? Yes. We got a match. Hell I'll take yeah. the mic. And you guys can go on up. Let's make some noise for them, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, though. You know what I'm saying? I feel that for real. You feel me? Like, basically, like, she kind of ghetto a little bit, but she working on it. You know what I'm saying? Explaining she working complex on, topics. Like, she pretty much working on, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not being too ghetto. You know what I'm saying? And working on stuff. So, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? She live in Texas. He live in, in Maryland, and he remote, so he could travel. You know what I'm saying? So, I wish him the best. You feel me? And I hope they work out. For sure, for sure. Yeah.